Dr. Tan Si Ling, Minister for Manpower and Second Minister for Trade and Industry. Her Excellency, Ms. Carol Owen, British High Commissioner to Singapore. His Excellency, Mr. Prit Turk, Ambassador of Estonia to Singapore. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning. I'm delighted to join you at Tech Innovation 2021. This is a significant year for IPI, as it celebrates its 10th anniversary as well as Tech Innovation's 10th edition. When Tech Innovation was first started in 2012, it only had 24 exhibitors and 500 delegates. Over the years, it has grown into one of the largest and most unique technology transfer and commercialization events in South Asia. In the 10 years, Tech Innovation has showcased over 2,500 enabling technologies from international partners and received more than 20,000 participants from over 50 countries. It now serves as a leading platform for enterprises and technology providers to collaborate as well as a launch pad for international technology companies to enter the Asian market. For example, UK digital health company Mandibao Sense, supported by Innovate UK's Global Business Innovation Program, took part in Tech Innovation 2018. The company, which develops medical wearables and integrated healthcare solutions, has struck several deals with enterprises here since then. They have formed partnerships with an MNC that provides B2B information technology services and a home care service provider in Singapore. As a pioneer and strong advocate of open innovation, IPI has worked closely with enterprises, especially small and medium enterprises in Singapore, to accelerate innovation through collaboration for business growth in the last decade. For instance, in 2013, IPI introduced Honsen Group, a local SME offering printing services to Singapore medtech company CellID that has developed a world's first palm-sized fully printed PCR on a chip for COVID-19 testing. Through that collaboration, Hansen was able to pivot their business and gain new capabilities in functional printing, bringing new life into a business that many consider to be a sunset industry. While the pandemic has brought about unprecedented disruptions to the economy and society, this doesn't mean innovation needs to stop. I'm heartened to note that technology seekers and innovators are still actively seeking collaboration opportunities, albeit virtually through the tech innovation platform. We are glad to welcome back our key partners like Innovate UK and Japan Science and Technology, but also welcome new national innovation partners from around the world. For instance, the Netherlands Embassy in Singapore and the Netherlands Innovation Network are participating with 19 innovative Dutch companies, one of the largest delegations at the event. They will showcase an array of technologies in areas such as digitalization, agriculture, water, and circular economy. As we transit to a new normal, the bigger challenges the world will have to face with for the long term are how climate change is affecting our carbon footprint, food production, and health. In line with the theme for tech innovation this year, a sustainable and resilient future, we have invited over 50 foremost industry thought leaders in technology and design-led innovation to promote discussion on the use of sustainable technologies towards meeting those challenges. Today, we will look at the pressing need to change the way we use and produce energy without compromising our economic development for the future. Green technologies can enable a sustainable future where energy is environmentally friendly, waste is minimized, and resources are recycled. We have lined up an exciting program spotlighting sustainable food innovations and health and wellness in the post-pandemic norm over the next two days for you. Please do not forget to explore the technology showcase presentations at the 11 international pavilions and consortia. There are opportunities for collaboration and commercialization that can lead to new business and growth. Tech innovation is a platform for technology seekers to connect with global innovators 
and technology providers. This afternoon, large enterprises such as Shell, Unilever, and WS Audiology will share their innovation challenges and opportunities and crowdsource for solutions from the industry and R&D partners. I encourage you to participate and co-innovate solutions with them and for the world. Besides leveraging technology for solving innovation challenges, enterprises can future-proof their business through design, such as applying design thinking principles for problem scoping and ideation before solutioning. IPS partnership with Design Simple Council, or DSG, started from 2019 and has deepened since then. We are co-organizing a second run of Design Think Tank at Tech Innovation 2021 to crowdsource solutions from designers and technologies from around the world. DSG and IPF will help to match make potential solvers to provide a more holistic solution to the challenge owners. We hope that this Design Think Tank platform will seed new conversations and collaborations between challenge owners, designers, and technologies. There is an ancient Chinese proverb that says, when the winds of change blow, some people build walls and others build windmills. I hope we can build windmills together. On behalf of IPI, I would like to thank our guest honor, Minister Tan Si Ling, for gracing Tech Innovation 2021. I would also like to express my appreciation to our innovation and enterprise partners that have journeyed with us over the last 10 years. And on this note, I wish everyone a most rewarding and fruitful time at Tech Innovation 2021. Thank you.